One night a monster comes out of the closet, not in a sexual preference kind of way, but more so to terrorize little kids in their bedrooms while their parents are asleep. The monsters that snuck into the kids room is this blue spotted creature with two horns on his head. The kid follows the creature to another dimension where all the other monsters live. Looks could be deceiving because even though the two horns symbolize the main monster is no angel, he's actually a pretty cool dude and looks after the kid like it's his own child in the other dimension. This violates the monster's number one rule. But there's one rule. It's you never ever get emotionally involved with the victim. You're not supposed to name it. Once you name it, you start getting attached to it. We learned that in their world, the beasts have a doorway to every single kid's bedroom to terrorize them whenever they feel like it. Every one of these staircases leads to some poor soul's bedroom. They've basically privatized nightmares and each night the creatures get assignments on which kids to frighten. The blue monster with the spot in the horns is one of the best scarers and he's selected by a supervisor to train some of the new recruits. Show it how it's done. Show these monsters what? how no, it's done. No, I... While shadowing the main monster, the child develops some common sense and discovers monsters are horrible creatures. The kid witnesses the creature terrorizing an innocent little kid and runs away from him. You could run but you can't hide though because the mean guy that works at the same place as the main monster wants to take the main kid as a prisoner. The blue monster with the spots and the horns begs him to leave the little kid alone but the child knows too much and it's too late. He knows our no, secret no, you know what? Let's leave him alone. She's home now. Just leave her alone. I can't do that. She's seen too much. The evil monster takes the doorway to the main kid's house and kidnaps someone close to the main character. To rescue him, the team takes a restricted passage and it's freaking weird what they find on the other side. They find all this equipment that could be used to torture monsters and increase your light bill by 30 or 40 bucks. Later, the minion's boss is revealed and we learn he's the one giving all the orders. The boss wears a private school uniform that looks almost like the one the Gryffindor students wear. A blue blazer, vest, tie, and gray bottom. The boss and his sidekick catch the good guys and push them through a door where no one will ever find them. You are not alone, like the Michael Jackson song, because they meet up with one of the other monsters there that was banished by the bad guys too. A little kid is currently being held hostage and there's no time to waste, so the good guys waste time and build a high-tech way out of their solitude. It works and the blue spotted monster with the horns goes through the door and runs as fast as he could before it's too late. The good guys manage to get the little kid back, but now the only thing that stands between them and freedom is the bad guy's henchmen. It looks like he's about to kill them, but you want to know what he does instead? He starts monologuing. He starts monologuing. During his prepared speech of how feeble they are compared to him, how inevitable their defeat is, one of the guys interrupts and attacks him from behind. The good guys run past all the other monsters in the other dimension and race back to the doorway to the kid's house so he or she could live happily ever after. Only thing is the doorway isn't working for some reason. It's not a big deal because we learned earlier in the movie, there's more than one way to get to the other dimension. No one likes goodbye unless they're in sync lyrics, which is why the blue spotted monster with the horns fights back tears during the goodbye process. They hug it out and it's really sad. And then one of the characters gets a souvenir to remember the other by. How else are you gonna remember me anyway? Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so. If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>